Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the final Fantasy Points Projection Show of the year. I'm Joe Dolan. There's Grant Barfield, there's Tom Brawley, and there's John Hansen. And um, we're lucky to be doing this. Um, I think one of the major reasons that football is, like, frankly, I think the major reason football is popular these days is because of fantasy football. I'm not going to try. I'm not, I'm not the reason for that, but I, we're benefiting from that. I think the uh, I think one of the major other reasons there's so many football fans and there's so many people playing fantasy football is because of the people who grew up watching John Madden and Pat Summerall call games. Uh, I think it's the greatest broadcast group of all time. So many people grew up playing the video game and becoming NFL fans because of that. Uh, just watched the John Madden documentary last night. It was phenomenal. Um, it just uh, heartbroken to hear John Madden has passed away. So uh, for, for whatever little thing we're doing here, this show's dedicated to him, a huge influence on my life. I miss him dearly. I, every time I hear his, his voice, it brings me back to playing tackle football outside in, uh, in uh, the fall and, and just the, the, the crispness of the air and knowing that you have a day off from school and uh, uh, just uh, auto automatic memories there with John Madden. So this one's for John. Um, guys, it's, uh, it's, it's good to be with all of you uh, here uh, on this one. Uh, how's everybody doing? Doing good. Uh, besides, obviously, shitty news today. I mean, Jeff uh, Jeff Darlington passed away too. Uh, he's a Bears beat for a very long time. Uh, that's Jeff Dickerson. Jeff Dickerson. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yes, my brain yes, is just. Yes. I'm sorry. My bad. My brain is just totally done. But it's been a. It's not been a good day for uh for football media um, here. Well, I thought John was here, but he's gone now. So and he's gone. It's all back. We're all back. <laughs> a great start. Um. Okay. Anyway, guys, uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna motor on this one, boys. I, I mean. There's, there's only so much we can do. The COVID protocols change every three hours. So I don't know, like we're canceling games three weeks ago. Now all of a sudden it's like they're going to ignore the virus completely. Yeah, 14 um, guys are getting called up from the practice squad for the Saints last night. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, I just kind of feel like the Saints are going to be upset about that. Yeah, they should be. You know, yeah, you have games I mean, for the other teams, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. but uh, anyway, yeah. Um, let's get into it. Um, let's start with the Rams and the Ravens. Uh, does... Does Lamar Jackson play? That's the question. Yeah, Harbaugh has been moot about this for weeks now. He keeps saying it's day to day, which is never, never good. <laughs> Just keeps yeah. stringing some longer. Yeah, he hasn't even gotten a practice in yet, too. So, it, nope. it, from the sounds of it, it, was like a bone injury. It was a like a deep bruise or something. So those, yeah. you know, that's that's day to day. You know, you, you just don't know how that's going to feel. So, could be Josh Johnson again, too. <laughs> you know, you know, we don't know what Huntley's going to. You know, if he gets through uh, COVID protocols here, so well, now I mean, it's basically now I think if you test positive, I don't know you about being vaccinated. It's just yep. like, hey, nope. hey, uh, if you test positive, are you okay? Uh, yeah, all right, all right, you're out there. Go I'm out there. Um, oh, there you go. There, there we go, John. Uh, there, uh, there he is. All right. Um, so the Ravens here. I mean, their team's collapsing. I know Matthew Stafford had a bad game last week. He's going to go absolutely nuts in this matchup. Nuts. Yes, yes. And they're dialing up deep shots, by the way, for Van Jefferson. Yeah, they just haven't connected on him. I feel like Stafford's under throwing a ton of balls this year, just like anecdotally watching their games all year. Um, I don't know, but yeah. I must have like literally every child in my house on the internet streaming something right now, like like and my wife and my cat as well. So sorry about that. <laughs> oh, Wait, we're John, gonna, John, we're gonna power now? through this right now. <laughs> what's that i said john you have a cat now i didn't know you had a cat oh yeah for all forever i, I oh, your house oh, no, we, we have two cats oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i've been to your house like three times i've never seen a cat i not know that. anyway yeah it's a pretty badass cat too he's a big cat he kills he's got like 40 <laughs> 50 kills on his resume he just comes and goes you know um, do. Oh, do you? i like cats the Rams, Sony Michelle yeah. has been like a top two running back here the last uh, like four weeks. So I can't imagine that's going to change with Daryl Henderson on IR. Yep. And uh, I mean, yeah, all they got is Jake Funk behind them. I mean, yeah, they can say that they're going to get Acres involved, but I can't imagine it's going to be. Sure, I, can't, I, 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 I even have a hard time believing he's going to play this week. So yeah. it, it's going to be a lot of Sony Michelle this week. Yeah, it seems like. D Hendo's injuries just kind of caught up with them. And I think they brought up Akers just as like 
last gasp, you know, in the playoffs if they need him. Yeah, because they have to – he has to be on it. And I think it was like they're trying to do a solid with him because you have to be on the roster to toll a season, so, you know, to help towards retirement and all that stuff. So I think it was – they were doing right. him a solid. Yeah, that's, a well. really, that's a really great that's a really good point for him, by the way. Yeah, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah, that Skoranek is playing a little bit. They're, they, were, they were playing a little bit more four wide receivers here recently. So, yeah, well, they had to with no Higby for a couple games. Mm-hmm. Our boy uh, Kendall Blanton just isn't getting it done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, um, Ravens side, right. real quick. They brought back Sammy Watkins, and he didn't play last week, so it was, it was all Dave. Then, um, okay. Well, obviously, he put up big numbers. Uh, yeah. Are we at all concerned that this offense has been just as good about Lamar Jackson? Honestly, it's been better. I mean, Lamar played like shit, like those yep. three games before he got hurt. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. He, Lamar was playing like an MVP to start the year, though. Yeah. It feels like just feels like forever ago. This yeah, I mean, it's it's bad news when the backup quarterbacks are unlocking Mark Andrews. I mean, this guy's been open all season long, and now he's going off with the backups. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, on, all right, on, the flip side, on the flip side, though, just sorry, Joe, but on the flip side, yeah. like Hollywood's been dead the last couple of weeks here. He just yeah, not getting the downfield targets. Uh, Falcons and the Bills again. Who knows what the, the fucking COVID protocols are going to mean for Gabe Davis and Cole Beasley? Um, well, we, we know now. I mean, he's they're they're both unvaxxed, and they can both come back within five days. So they can come, they can play this week, basically. Yeah. Um, also, uh, Isaiah McKenzie should probably play anyway. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Manuel Sanders stinks. Yeah, he's he hasn't been very good. He's done. Yeah. Um, uh, the Falcons are a full on rotation right now. I mean. Cordero Patterson got in the end zone, but I, you, there is no way you can have confidence in anybody here except maybe Gage and Pitts. Pitts actually had a really good game, but he still can't get in the box. I yeah. see. Go ahead, John. Sorry. I already did. You guys got me. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's yeah. All right. uh, I'm, I, I, I told people to get off the Wi-Fi. And, um, <laughs> Cordero I'm probably winding, wearing down here, right? I mean, I mean it has to be. he's got like a 10. Tangible downside. Now I actually sat him for AB. What's that? Uh, I don't know, John. Yeah, I, we didn't say anything. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh no, I heard. I heard you say something there when I was finishing the thought. Um, no, I don't think anybody said anything. <laughs> yeah. No. You're in. You're I'll, in I'll, my my air air this, man. <laughs> I'll be right back. Back. Goodbye. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah. So. Uh, all right. Next game um sorry guys i mean i'm uh we're trying to have a discussion here and it's not working one of <laughs> um let's go to the giants oh my god giants in the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, next. <laughs> yeah it's not good Devonte parkers look better than Staquan. it's this is not Devo- good yeah Devonte booker tom your brain yeah, right yeah, sorry um nick Foles might be the guy justin fields might be the guy yeah, um, either way, that's <laughs> the best receiver for the Bears. Yep. Actually, David Montgomery's the best receiver for the Bears. Yeah, Montgomery's got five or more catches in four straight now. Uh, that was like the big bugaboo for him in the middle of the year. <sighs> yeah, yeah, Alan Robinson's uh, he should be back, but he yeah, but he play, said he uh, lost 10 pounds. Hey, back. All right, there yeah. he is. He yeah, said Robinson he lost 10 pounds with COVID. Yep. Oh, so. Um, Rashad, uh, uh, who, uh, the Giants, I don't even know what to say. I mean, what a waste of a franchise they are. <laughs> I mean, Devontae Booker looks better than Sa- Saquon.